We are back. back. We are back. So I'm NJ. And I'm Pete. You're Pete? Of course. I thought you are No. Kidding aside. Okay, so today we are going to learn about American English and British English on how they differ. So both of them has numerous varieties, meaning various um, dialect or accent. For today, we will focus just on the standard, no regional varieties. Exactly. Like, there were lots of continents or countries like Australian English, Canadian English, blah, blah, blah. Like, we just tear it out into American and British English. So, let's just focus on that. I don't want to complicate things. I'm not a native speaker. But I hope that native speaker can... Appreciate. Yeah, and learn a finger in here. To say English. For all we know, it's a universal language. But then, I don't want this to like be more complicated or get more complicated because my life is already complicated. Oh God! I will go. Okay, so let's start off. So there, there are several ways that American English and British English differs, like in vocabulary, accent, spelling, and grammar. But for today, we are just like I mean, we are taking them parts by parts, and today we are gonna be tackling or talking about the. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, also, we since we are a mixed couple, we have lots of differences, not just in cultural aspect, but as well as in language. So sometimes I say some something which has a different meaning, because Filipinos are used to American English. So, let's get it on. <laughs> okay, so I, I will be talking about American English or or the things or the words I'm gonna be saying is in American English. I will give you the British vocabulary with pleasure. Char. <laughs> okay, so start off. Summer and I'm looking forward for a vacation. I really need a break. We call it I'm going for a vacation, we call it vacation. In UK we go on a holiday. Yeah. And in the US if you're living in like in a building they call it an apartment whereas in the UK they call it a flat yes and if your apartment is situated or just the le um, in the level of the street in the US they call it first floor and the second person on top of, or, or on the second level we call it second floor but in the UK if your flat is on the level of the street you're on the ground floor. So, also, like, there are tall buildings and all that in the U.S. So, they might la be lazy to walk on the stairs or to take the stairs. So, in the U.S., they call it elevator. Whereas in the U.K., you can take the lift up to a tall floor. Yes. Also, another thing is that if you wanted to watch a movie or a news, you cannot... You can turn on the TV. In the UK, you can turn on the telly, but actually they use both words in the UK. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. oh God, I didn't say anything. Okay, so another example is that when you step outside of your house and you're just walking in the streets, like, or particularly you're walking beside the street, in the US, they call that sidewalk. In the UK, they call it pavement. And if you're try, uh, if you're tired walking, you may take a subway. Or in the UK, you might take the underground, or you might take the tube in London. Yes. Also, when when like we're walking or when we're going when we're going to our work, or we we'll, we're just going out for a walk, we can wear our pants. Is that what we call in the in the US? In the UK, we call them trousers, or uh, pants refers to actually to underpants, particularly in a woman, underpants or knickers. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. So, like, so if someone overreacts in in the in the US, they might say, or their expression will be like, "Don't get your panties on a bench." In the UK. The similar expression is, don't get your knickers in a twist. Yeah. So going back in, in pants. In the UK, pants is also used as an adjective. It means it sucks or is rubbish. They will say, the album is pants. 
How do they use it in America? Are you asking me? I am. Because you're sounding loud. How do they use it in America? Are you a robot? <laughs> oh, you didn't know? You might no. have a robot. But actually, um, in the U.S., they have this expression, or they will just simply say, the, the album song. Oh. In Germany, they will say, the Terminator. Or, yeah, running shoe. So, in, in, in the U.S., they're calling it, I walk out, I will walk outside and wear my sneakers. Well, in the UK, you can wear your trainers. Yeah. So when you're cold in the US, you can wear a sweater. In the UK, you simply wear your jumper. Yeah. In a party or at your work or whichever, you can use a vest. But in the UK, you're wearing a waistcoat. Also, they are calling suspenders in the US. In the UK, they are wearing braces. Ooh, Do people cool. still wear that? Yeah. I don't have any idea. Okay, so um, okay, so I go in a store and I'll buy a candy. So candy is in the U.S. In the U.K., you simply buy your sweets. Because you're sweet. Like, like in a fanfare or feria in the Philippines. So I used to buy a cotton candy. But if you are in the UK, you get your candy floss. Ooh, I see. Oh. Okay, so I'm feeling hot and I want to eat a popsicle. In the UK, you'd get an ice lolly instead. Ah, uh, really? So, you know that you, you've seen the sugar mill, yeah? Yes. When you went in the Philippines. So, yeah, the syrup from the sugar mill is called molasses, and that's the same um, vocabulary that American English is using so molasses what's, what's in the British um, vocabulary they're calling it trackle okay so I like to eat french fries in McDonald's when I was in the UK I used to eat lots of chips so basically you mean that french fries is a chip exactly okay so oh. french fries is a chip for them okay how about potato chips Potato chips, we call them crisps. I see. Okay, so how about a cookie? We call it cookie. And UK, it's called a biscuit. Okay. In America, we call it flashlight. When it's dark, we use a flashlight. And UK, it's a torch. Boy. You light up your torch. Okay. So, like, I'm always on my cell phone. And the UK, it's a mobile phone. Oh, nice and clean. Okay, I have a trash and I put it in a trash can. You mean you put it in a bin? That's what British call it, a bin. Hmm. So I went into Jollibee and I order a takeout. Yeah. Uh, or, I'll, or I'll, I can say, like, I can't. I'm not looking at my phone. I am looking at you. So I went into a restaurant, like, no, I went to Jollibee to use this anyway. <laughs> I went to Jollibee and then I get myself an ice cream, a burger, and a soda. So I told the attendant I wanted to for a takeout. So and the word is takeout. And that translates in British to takeaway. Okay. So like for example, I have this schedule for a week or for a month. The word is schedule. And UK, the same word is timetable. Mm -hmm. So example, another example is that I will use the eraser to erase the things. Same or word, eraser and yeah. UK <laughs> means rubber. Mm -hmm. okay. Because it's made of rubber. Oh. Really? Yeah. Proven facts? Proven facts. Sure? Yes. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. So, next one. Okay. I get a mail. Which is like a snail mail. So, I get a mail. In the UK, you'd probably get a post. Ooh, post it. Yeah. <laughs> Joke. Okay. So, a baby usually uses a diaper. But the British baby uses a nappy. 
Ooh. It's cute. So I'm happy. I I'm feeling like I'm gonna pee and I will use the restroom. Whereas in UK, you would have to go to the loo. Okay. So right now we are living in an apartment building. Uh, apartment building in UK, it would be called a block of flats. Whoa. Okay, so down there, I can see a delivery truck. The word is truck. How do you call it truck? In UK, we call it a lorry. Char. Okay, so, okay. Um, I bump into a station wagon. How do you call that? In UK, we call it an estate car. Ooh, okay, so I'll... No, okay, I'm driving it and I'm going... Or, or, or I'm heading into a parking lot. In UK, you would go to the car park. Like in the mall. In the mall's car park. Okay, I, I called... Like in, in American English, we called the head of the car as a hood well in british english we call it a bonnet interesting okay how about this a trunk how do you call a trunk of the car the trunk we call it a boof boo boo what do you mean boof <laughs> you don't know english i don't know how to oh, you want... <laughs> no you don't need... <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> again, 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 again. <laughs> okay, again, the word is trunk. How do you call trunk? <laughs> In British, we call it a boot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so last. Okay, Abu Dhabi is known in the world as like oil rich Emirates. Yeah, so in here, like among Emirates, like even in Dubai, Abu Dhabi has a lot of resource of gas. When you're going to a station, in British English, you get the petrol. So we call gas actually petrol. I, I, I want to make it to the shot. So American English say gasoline. Oh, nice. Do you have petrol in? <laughs> so yeah, there you go. We're done. Hope you learned from us today. And next time, watch for our next video as we are going to be talking about American English and British English, how they differ in their accent. That's going to sound exciting. Thank you for watching everyone. I'm And my name is NJ. So for those who are just new to our channel, please hit on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell as you will get some updates from the newest video. Again, see you next time, Mondays. Thank you.